was Patrick, and here's a real quick video demonstrating some FUD that's going around about the delay that happens when you turn the wheel in a Cybertruck. Cybertruck steer by wire. There's no physical connection. It's just like a video game. There is lag, no doubt. Within milliseconds, Tesla was claiming like 10 milliseconds for their controls, but the new Ethernet loop is supposed to be even higher than that. So the communications is probably a millisecond or two at the most. The issue is the delay that the servos take to turn the wheels fully. So when you give the command to have it turn the wheel all the way, that's it. It, it doesn't take very long at all, but it does take just slightly longer for the wheels motors to actually finish turning the wheel. And we're, the report is an eighth of a second, which is significantly shorter than in a standard vehicle. So here I am in my lightning and I do the exact same thing where I turn the wheel from the center all the way to the left. And it takes like two full turns of the wheel. It takes me a full second to do it. And then if I go all the way from the left to the right, we're looking at around two seconds. So where in the Cybertruck, you do the same thing and you're talking a fraction of a second. So it's, it's a night, night and day comparison that the steer by wire is clearly faster response. There was a headline today about somebody doing autocross, which I will be doing as well in my cyber truck. And they took fifth place, even though this is a behemoth and nowhere near as nimble as a standard autocross type vehicle. But they said, you know, the steer by wire, the four wheel steering, it made all the difference in the world. And the way autocross events work is you're driving around cones and you have uh, fractions of a second to react, to turn sharply and maneuver through these cones. So if there's any test to show that there's no issues with the so-called lag in the Cybertruck steer by wire, there is, there's gotta be something. It's gotta be a little bit more than a physical connection, but it's nothing. I mean, it's, it's not even measurable. The delay is non-existent and the motors are faster than you could physically move a wheel with regular power steering. So, yeah. Anyways, what do you guys think? Um, am I completely wrong or am I onto something here? Because I own both and I can tell you the Cybertruck steer is way quicker, less delay than manually having to brute force steering um, yourself. Please like, share, subscribe this video to this show if you want more videos like these. We'll see you guys again next time. Thanks, bye. Thank <laughs> you.